All right, heading into uh, my favorite cigar shop, OSI Tobacco, here in Canton, Ohio. And uh, we're going to take a look at some interesting uh, Fuentes and uh, smoke one of them anyway and uh, give you give you a, at least a look at a couple of them. Fuente's been around for a long time. Uh, J.C. Newman Company has them now. They they have brands like this uh, Florfina, Quest Array. Um, that one's a Centrofino. So Quorum also is J.C. Newman, but uh, Quorum's not quite my my liking. But a uh, beautiful cigar shop, huge, huge cigar shop here in Canton, Ohio. And he's got Davidoff, he's a authorized distributor. And he's got some really good stuff. Some of my favorites, by the way, we'll talk about Fuente, but some of my favorites. Uh, yeah, Padron and the really, really hard to get 50 year Padron. Fantastic cigar. If you haven't had that and you get an opportunity, they're real hard to find, but highly recommend them if you can find them. So back here to his uh, Fuente collection. Uh, he's got he's got some Opus X up above, and uh, he's got the uh, new newest line of Casa Cuba, which is a pretty good cigar. And then your uh, standard Fuente line. And then the uh, Don Carlos, and uh, some of my favorites are the uh, the Hemingway. It's got a bit of sweetness to him. King Fuente, and uh, some of the lower lower end models of the Fuente, and then a real nice uh, mid range. Uh, the uh, this is the Florfina or eight five eight model, and then. Um, some of the higher end from J.C. Newman are the uh, Diamond Crown Maximus, Black Diamond, which I really like. And uh, got a pretty decent line of these brick house. But really what I want to do is uh, show you a couple of special editions here. And before I do that, uh, just show you he's even got Fuente coffee. I've had that. Those are the, the pods, and then he's got the ground coffee, and... Uh, really good it's uh, well worth it so I'm gonna take a look here at a box of these unnamed reserve 2021 collectible from 2016 and that's probably what I'm gonna smoke here I already got one out I'm gonna take a look at it and see but uh, let me show you a couple other real vintage ones so moving up the line is this box of a father and his son, uh, Don Carlos and Carlos Fuente. And inside, I've already smoked one of these, which was an incredible cigar. I did a review on it already. It was a 20-year Opus X. And so this Opus here is the one I smoked on another video. 20 year and it was it was truly phenomenal and so also in here a couple other ones note nope. here's the um, Decino Siglo dark oily wrapper very nice. So there's two of those in there. Then there's the uh, Casa Cuba that I was talking about inside. A couple of the Don Carlos, the uh, personal reserve. Really nice dark wrap. And then uh, the uh, small torpedo. I forget what it's called. It's the Opus X. But uh, a very cool cigar. If I can zoom in on it here. Small. A really nice collection and uh, again this box a father and his son really kind of a rare find uh, he's got it priced at 159 which is really cheap comparatively speaking but what I want to really show you is a real rarity 
and that is the Forbidden X, um, and this is the Lo Prohibido Del Amor collection. Now, I've seen these for as much as a thousand dollars a box online, and uh, this one's really just a, it's a very rare cigar. I've only got two left. I can't believe we were selling them for $21.99. Um, just the, the rarity. I've seen them for $100 a piece, easy online. So, I'm going to smoke that one, but not today. We'll do a review of that, hopefully separately. But I'm going to buy these other two here, because that price is incredible. And, uh, He's going to throw in the box, which can't beat that, but a very cool cigar. He's got, he's got a ton of uh, rare Fuentes here in Canton, Ohio. So let's take a look at the unnamed. So again, the unnamed reserve 2021 release. You can see these are $10 a piece. And um, what's it say there? Production 2016 in Spanish. So we're going to fire this up and uh, see what we think about it. All right. So first of all, kind of a look at the uh, the wrapper. It's not. It it does have some oil to it. I like it. It's a little bit dark. It's certainly not quite a Maduro. Um, but it, it's got some, it's got some darkness to it, some color, uh, which is nice. Uh, I don't like particularly the pure Connecticut shade. Really doesn't have much of a scent, uh, pre-light. Not much in terms of, um. Can't tell a whole lot going on there with that, but you don't smoke them or you don't have them without smoking them. So let's see what they taste like. Nice smooth draw. Good kind of white, white grayish smoke. Not real thick smoke, but but uh, but plenty of it. And uh, I would say it's uh, mild so far. Not not a ton of flavor. Um, very smooth, so no bitterness to it. Um, maybe just a tad bit of sweetness to it. Um, you know, again, not no 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 bitterness, which is nice. Um, but but some light light flavors. I'd say so far to start, it's a little more mild than than my choice. So I don't I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. Unnamed reserve. It says it's collectible. Maybe the flavor will grow on me if it gets there definitely could be a morning cigar uh, starting to get a little more flavor now we'll take a walk around in the humidor a little more while I'm trying to get 
deeper into this and um, 